Hi, this is Igor Rijinovich from hdhead.com. In one of the other tutorials for Avid DS, we learned how to make a functional counter. For example, if I type in any five digit number here, 54781, here we have it on the screen, 54781. Uh, one of the practical applications of these on screen counters is uh, building a calculator. Uh, here is an example of a calculator I built. It will park on any clip on your timeline. Click apostrophe on the keyboard which brings the load preset box and loads the high speed calc which you can download from hdhead.com we'll explain where that is a little later and a custom avidius frames to time code calculator loads up this can be applied to any clip and actually I'm going to copy and paste this clip effect to just a plain uh, color background because it will be a little easier to see what's going on so the idea behind this calculator is uh, that we enter frame count and the target frames per second speed which will give us the time code so for example if you have 240 frames playing back at 24 frames a second the duration of that will be exactly 10 seconds and 0 frames so this allows us to calculate the, uh, the time code for if you have a bunch of frames for example for some sort of a file based project let's try it again and type in a any number of frames in here 48,723 frames playing back at 24 frames a second would give us 33 minutes 50 seconds and 3 frames on tape and if we change this let's see at 30 frames a second we will get 27 minutes 4 seconds and 3 frames. There's already a DS calculator under tools menu. This built-in calculator can do pretty much the same thing if I type in 48723 that is 27 minutes 4 seconds and 3 frames the, the same number that we have on uh, with this built-in calculator. But the difference between the two is uh, twofold. One is the output of this gets fed out through the uh, video out so you can feed this to other bays in the facility or record it to tape or whatever you need to do with it. And more importantly the limit of the DS calculator is that it goes only up to 60 frames per second and you cannot calculate beyond that. With this calculator you can go all the way up to 120 frames per second. So for example 40,723 frames when running at 120 frames per second would give you 6 minutes 46 seconds and 3 frames. So this is a good tool for calculating high-speed photography times and uh, things like that. The underlining structure that's working behind the calculator is somewhat complicated. You know there are a lot of trees nested and a lot of stuff, a lot of math going on so, so we can't really get into that there's just not enough time and because of the complexity of the calculator it is not particularly fast and what I mean by that is um, if I type in a number it takes a little bit of time for it to calculate I mean it's still pretty quick but it's not instant on a slower machine it could pose a problem so there's an alternate high-speed frame express counter which does not have a graphics output and the way that works is we're going to create a just a black clip so we can apply a clip effect of high speed calc express and what this calculator does is it has no output at all but it has the same inputs and outputs here in the property builder so for example if I say uh, 240 frames at 24 frames a second the calculation is very fast so it 240 frames at 24 frames per second is 0 hours 0 minutes 10 seconds and 0 frames so it's the same basic input and output that you would have in this visual calculator except for it's all given to you in this fast user interface uh, both the high speeded calculator express and the regular visual Avid DS frames to time code calculator are available for download from uh, hdhead.com. And although I've taken a great care making sure that all the calculations are precise and correct, uh, please understand that there could be some errors in the math, so always double check your results.